Hey guys, as promised, I'm back with some highlights from the Tucson gym show. So today I figured I would share some clips from the 22nd Street show. It's a huge show. There's a ton of really cool vendors down there. They've got gorgeous crystals. And while you guys are hanging out at the 22nd Street show in this video, I'm going to be home organizing minerals because we just got home from New Mexico at a, a gym show out there. So I've got a lot of unpacking to do still. This Ethiopian opal is so unbelievably dreamy. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get this as close as I can to the camera so you can try to see inside there. I mean, the opal is clear, but it has this this color, this holographic color to it. Look at the color on that. Oh my goodness, it's got pinks, purples, blues. Wow, that is just loaded with opal. Some of these pieces, it's just hard to, hard to even imagine how that forms, you know? The color on that is just incredible. The water gives it more color. Oh, look at that one, it's so glittery. This pattern is called uh, pin five. It gives you, when you cut it, it gives you something like this. Oh, that's amazing. So that's what it looks like after you cut it into cabs. Exactly. Black opal too. We don't have the rough. They are very rare. It's not even going to do it justice on camera, you guys. You got to see this in person. But wow, it just, it's like stars. It's like rainbow stars reflecting out of there. Thank you so much for letting me film. I really appreciate you. What a great family. And their quality of opal is just spectacular. And how do you say your name? I, my name is Arshad Iqbal. So most of uh, the minerals which I have here in my booth uh, belong to the Pakistan and few of them are from uh, Afghanistan as well. So you've got morganite down here? Morganite, these are the aquamarines. Oh, wait, this one is so peachy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. peachy color, yeah. Very pretty. This is a the, pink color. The pink this, this is not heated, not heated, it's uh, a natural color. It's so pretty. They're so clear. So jimmy. Jimmy, yeah. It's a, it's a few of them are really gym quality. Some heads inclusion, but mo most actually we are selling it as a mineral specimen, you know, not for the few of them are a facet grade as well. Mounted on an acrylic display and just having a light on it, oh, it just glow beautifully. I also love all of these little aquamarine sprays, like these small clusters. Especially this one I like a lot, that it's was... a, like sandwich, you see all bite on top of it. Yeah, it's so sparkly. Whoa. So that's all bite, the white is all bite on top of the aquamarine. What is the sparkle? Sparkles are all, all uh, hematite. Oh, hematite? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's like glittering on there. Mm. Glittering on the surface of the all bite. And then the uh, kunzite, he's got a beautiful kunzite yeah. right here. Beautiful kunzite with the turmaline. Oh, with the tourmaline? Yeah, yeah. What? Look at that spray of green tourmaline. Oh, and then he's got this tourmaline just perfectly nestled in that quartz. It's like the quartz is just hugging that tourmaline. I think that's tourmaline on all bite there. That's a really pretty, very pastel tourmaline there. Almost call it aquamarine. Look at that huge kunzite too. That is a massive piece. Look at this icy quartz. Oh, you guys won't be able to see it very well because it's against the white background, but it's so textural. It's almost like a glacial quartz, like like it started to dissolve. I'm really thankful to Christine. She came here and uh, gave me a few minutes uh, taking my interview. And she is a very nice lady. We came here uh, for the one of the biggest show in the whole world to represent our country here and to meet new people, build up new uh, connections. Like every booth is from the different country, you know. So too much diversity you can see. So I advise everyone to come and visit Bhutan once a year. Even they can bring their kids here too. They can learn a lot of things about the stone. Even they can uh, learn about uh, other people, culture, about their languages, foods. I'm uh, also very thankful to the people of uh, Arizona, Tucson. They are very supportive, very nice hosts they are. Honestly, I'm really thankful to them. Thank you so much for showing me around your booth. And where can people find you? We are always participating in these shows. We 
we are here in uh, Kastan and in Denver and whatever the show you can come and visit us, you will see a great variety of minerals with us. I'm at Ethiopian Gem and Minerals Exporter. Let me show you guys the size of this Ethiopian opal here. It's massive and it has the full spectrum of rainbows. The entire rainbow is captured in that stone. Ethiopian opal just glows. It has such beautiful play of color. Oh, look at that. It's a gorgeous piece. So many flashes and rainbows in there. There's their info. And you guys will be in Denver in yeah, September? Yeah. Jonas. Yeah. Jonas, That's my okay. Helen. She lives in Georgia. Okay. So she'll do the show. All right, guys, I'm at a beautiful amethyst booth right now. This is Magic Quartz. I'm here with Matthias. I kind of have an obsession with amethyst flowers, and I saw that Matthias has these beautiful amethyst flowers. You said the mine is... It's, it's uh, almost finished. It's almost so finished. So you get like a complete flowers, like those ones. They are all around perfect. It's very hard now to get it, like because mine is almost finishing, so yeah find a piece like that takes so long time. The purple is beautiful because normally the amethyst flower doesn't grow very dark purple. So it's this is the color that normally they come from. It's like stalactite and it has the point here. It has the calcite here. And then I love these little ones here. Like that's yeah. really pretty back yeah, it's there. Perfect piece. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. I can't believe how rounded over that one is, too. Yeah. It's like stalactite uh, amethyst flower. And in the bottom is the natural part holding the wall. But look at this big piece here. That's that's like a museum quality it piece is, there. It is a museum piece, yeah. yeah. It's, it's huge. That and big and that complete shape, it's a museum. It's yeah. one in 500,000 pieces. It has like, like all this. of these rosettes of crystals all around yeah. the edge. That is really stunning too. Yeah, it's the clarity this is from Uruguay and the clarity of this piece is amazing. Look at this point. It's like glass. So Jimmy. Yes, it's a good one too. Yeah, this color is the mine that they come from. It's uh, not a big one because the mine is so many spots. In, on the mountain so this vein is one of the best thing so but they keep digging and very few pieces come out like this rich color oh so yeah it's those kind are of incredible. a rare and collector pieces yeah so this is calcite here yes calcite in the middle yeah, they're so richly pigmented. But normally Uruguayan pieces has small points. Oh, with smaller termination smaller, points, yeah. okay. It doesn't have big points as Brazilian, yeah. Yeah, yeah, these Brazilian ones are so yeah, striking. Like, like a sphere like this is kind of a micro crystal formation on top. So it's kind of nice too. Yeah, the all the jersey. Yeah, like this piece is lavender color with nice calcite. So he's got the big pieces and little pieces, and you can buy by the piece. He's got flats. Oh, there's so, the luster. I can't get over the luster here. Now this is interesting here. What kind of inclusions are in there? It's the amethyst with the mineral that grows inside that calls gotite. You can see that is like a gold and black color. This piece is the same inclusion. So that is gold, gotite, and black ones. Like this is kind of flower. Oh yeah. Yeah, here got many inclusions. Some with phantoms, like blue ones. Oh, with phantoms, yeah. okay. It's inside, it's like painting, you know, that we call phantom. Yeah, that's really pretty. The color zoning is so beautiful on that one. Yeah, it's not that strong, the color but still like this color many people likes is a little bit lighter because you can see the clarity so yeah many people like this color yeah i like that because yeah because you can see down inside mm -hmm. there a little more yeah. transparency and the luster the luster on all of these is super sparkly this is unusual here what is the orange yeah, this is there? a rare inclusion it's called cristobalite 
oh, it's, it's the mineral that grows inside the point. So normally the crystal bolite is white and this one got orange color. I've never seen it orange. Yeah, it's a kind of red and all around is agate. So yeah, it's a good piece. And then it's just sparkly. Mico crystals that make sparkly. Oh yeah, you can see some of the sparkle yeah. of it down there too. Where's the best place for people to find you? On Instagram, uh, yeah, on Instagram or okay on Instagram yeah we are okay Instagram. and then they can be alerted like if you have shows coming up yeah yeah okay. we always post the shows and uh, so many uh, pieces everything there on Instagram thank you so much Mateus so all right guys I'm at the 22nd Street show with Frank Zhu I've been watching him on YouTube I first discovered him from his gym show videos and I, I love his content. I'll have his channel link below. This one right here is mostly fluorites. Um, this is green, cubic green fluorite from the, from the Shanghua Ling mine in China, like Hunan province, China. They're known for these really like top quality glass green cubes, just minty green, pistachio green like color. It's just amazing. It's unbelievably it's, clear. A lot of people um, have commented on it thinking that it's from uh, England. And then I'm like, well, it, it's it's actually inner China. China has a lot of fluorites. Um, most of it is mass-produced, low-quality, low to medium-quality stuff. But they have a couple of mines where they produce really, really good stuff, and this is one of them. In the middle is a golden reptile related uh, point. These I got recently from my Brazil trip. It's amazing. That one is a, definitely a special piece. In the back, we have some beautiful Colombian quartzes, uh, two big Colombian quartz points, a nice big cluster. I want to really want to show you guys this. So this piece is so special. I just cannot. Okay, so I got my light. So this is golden reptile in quartz. Now check that out. It's hematite with uh, golden reptile strands forming out of it into like, in, in like a star pattern, and it's just amazing. I just love it so so much. It's really hard to get quality like this, even in Brazil. This piece is more clear, I want to say, but it's just like. It's just so nice. It's shaped like an eye. It has an inclusion in, in the center that just kind of sits there with like little hairs of the, of the reptile. It's, it's so unique. Got another little cabbage on right here. Oh, that's a cool piece. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cool little pendant. If somebody could like set this in gold and wrap it, that would be cool. The middle shelf is mostly tourmaline. It's um, green tourmaline, red tourmaline, watermelon tourmaline. Um, oh, and, yeah, yeah. I, love, I love the watermelon tourmaline. Me too. Delicious. Jolly <laughs> Ranchers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> a big apothelite tower in the back, uh, some Nika selenite. That's been a more recent popular uh, selenite these days. A lot of people are going for that. Oh, and the green apothelites, of course. Three three little, you know, like thumbnail size green green apothelites. Big fan of those. I know you're a big fan as well. I saw your video a couple times where you were talking about the green apothelites and disco balls, and I was like, oh, <laughs> You like them too? <laughs> yes. Beautiful amethyst flowers. This is definitely one of my favorite items. And I, I love how the center of the flower is like kind of like a blushy pastel pink. Flower amethyst is like one of my one of my oh, one of my favorites. Um, this is a nice piece. I want to show you guys another piece right here that's really just got the real it's, it's got oh, the formation down. Yeah, that one is awesome. Yeah. It has the actual like it's all crystal. No no matrix just all crystal terminations. There's just something about the spray of crystals. Mm -hmm. uh, it just feels so good to look at. That is beautiful. That one's really pretty too with that. It's got a big oh, yeah. rosette there. Yeah, this one, this is like, this is a good formation right there. They're just coming out. And this is heavy too. It's got a good weight to it. And then I love that this one has rosettes all across there. Big ones are really something else. Flower amethyst is definitely something that really sucked a lot of people. People always stop and they look at them and they're like, oh, I haven't seen that in a while, you know? They're... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Actually, I've been slacking on the vlogs because I'm doing this now, so, but I'm still going to get the Tucson Gym Show vlogs out. But I wanted to give Christine a little gift before we part of ways. Oh my gosh. Isn't that nice? That is beautiful. So I actually, I like to prop it up like this. This one is kind of talking to me, telling me it's good for Christine. Like, because each stone actually has, even though they're the same crystal, it's it can be different. Like the frequencies, the energy. So, 
it really, you got to find the right piece. Um, but this one was kind of talking to me, saying, yes, this is cool with her, you know. Thank you so much, Frank. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. Uh, but before you get out of here, I'll wrap this up for you and make it look all nice. Oh, thank you so much. Here, give me, give me a hug. Any meteorite that has a number and a name is being classified. So we know this is a lunar. Because anybody could find a pebble and say, oh, this is a lunar. So there's experts that actually uh, classify this. The Chilean uh, dead cow, which is Vaca Muerta. So, but they have a distinctive look to them. These, the reason why they stay like this, because we coat them in oil. So once you coat them in oil, it'll, it'll, it'll help from the rust. You notice it's starting to rust a little bit. And then also with these, the Cuban ones, what they do, sometimes when you get a large enough piece like this to make more money, they'll slice them. See that? Now you could charge, you know, if this costs $1,000 and you slice it, now you can make 10,000 from the slices. And they look nicer too. They use a metal, a diamond wire. And the machine's like $10,000. This is in Northwest Africa. What makes it such a beautiful, it has uh, shock things. So when it enters the atmosphere, these are called shock things. Everybody knows the palisades. Oh, they're so beautiful with the olivine the, crystals. Yeah, uh -huh. The Nantang, uh, these, are, these are Chinese, okay? And this is from Indonesia, and this is from Thailand. So we're looking at the meteorites, and they are Amber International and the museum store. They also have a beautiful selection of Larimar. I'm actually going to check that out right now. It's so cool to see the, the matrix on the outside, like the, the regular natural rock, and then see what it looks like when it's cut open. Look at that one's got a lot of white, and then it creates a beautiful contrast with that Larimar tropical water blue. Really nice quality in there. Oh, that turtle backing. This type of color is what I love the most, because this is almost like a gel, translucent. When you make cats, you can see right through it. Not all Larimar could be made into caps. When people say, oh, I want to buy this piece because I want to make caps, first thing is no. Because if, I, if, if you could make caps, I would have made the caps and makes four or five times the, the price. This, you cannot make caps. For, for reason is, it has a lot of veins, and it might be a point where if you cap it and you use a metal, we, uh, I'm sorry, a diamond wheel, it's going to explode on you. Larimar has, has, a, has a reputation of exploding. If anybody goes to a Larimar dealer and they think they're gonna buy this piece because they're gonna make millions of dollars in this cab, well, the person that's selling it would have made it caps himself. So when you see pieces like this, it's because we couldn't cap. Maybe I could have kept this a little bit, but sometimes it's more valuable to have an entire piece than just cabin one or two pieces here. Ooh, that sphere up there is really beautiful too. Yep. And, it, and it almost looks like, I mean, you would think South America, oh, but then Australia yeah. ended up in the wrong place. <laughs> it's Pangea right? as Pangea, it was splitting. <laughs> right, Pangea. It's all about also the cleanliness, how clean it is, how well. It's almost like buying a diamond. You know, whoever worked it. But this is, yeah, this is, this is, an, it's all petrified wood. A lot of this stuff is manganese, uh, manganese, uh, titanium, chromium, cobalt. So a lot, because I had all this stuff tested. If you look at some of the pieces, let me show you. So we use the whole middle to make caps. So we, and then the ends, we put them out there. And collectors like this, because you're not going to find this, this blue. I know, that and, is and this striking. And this is called turtle back. I still have parts of the mine. So what happened with the amber, I got into the business because of the blue amber. And the clearer it is, the more money it's worth. In other words, this piece is also blue amber, but it's a very weak blue. I don't know if the camera can catch it, very weak blue. Oh yeah. But the clarity is stunning. And then the other side is green. A piece like this, AAA blue, just in the market alone, buy it anywhere from $1,000, $5,000 per gram, per gram. But this has a weak color. But this is a nice collect collector piece. So like this one also a big piece, green. Now, obviously, you know, it's dust in here, so I'm going to get the dust. But all the, all the beautiful blue, that was gone the first day. And this is like a, a nice blue, but it's, uh, it's not that clean inside. Oh yeah, it sure does light up though. Can I have a little kiss in the camera? No kiss? Meh, that's gonna be... Ah, yay! 
All right, you guys, thank, thank you. you so much. You guys are the best. And anytime you guys see any crystals in these videos, whether it's from us or another vendor and you're interested in them, you can always reach out to us or the vendor. I have most of their information, like anyone that you saw in this video, any of the vendors, I'll have their information linked in my description box. So if they have a website or their Instagram, I'll have that so you can easily contact them and inquire about something. All right, guys, I love you. Take care and I will see you in the next video. I'll be back to regular scheduled programming. Uh, I think after this next week. I've got another gym show highlights video that I want to share with you though of the main show, which was really fun. All right, love you guys. Bye.